What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to episode 9 of our PES 2013 Master League. We're still grinding it out. As you can see, we are now five points off the leaders, Arsenal, and two points behind Tottenham Hotspur. And we're level on points with Man City. We've gone all the way up to third place, lads. We've put some really good results back to back. And we need to continue that. So Rooney is top of the goal scorer. He looks like he's going to get the golden boot this year. Aguero's close behind him. And Tevez, if you combine the two of those, they might catch us. Holt, I see there with number eight as well. My nemesis, my rival. You can see there's a wide variety of assists as well. So we are going to do a bit of a highlights package on this, lads. We have got Everton up. But we're going to fit in about six or seven games in here to go through some stuff. And yeah, we have it right there on screen, lads. It's the business end of the season. We have got... A bid in for Ronaldinho. Now, listen, lads, I want your opinion, right? But I've made a decision in this video um, that some of you aren't going to like, some of you are going to like, because Ronaldinho, we bought him for 18 million, I think. I'm not going to let him go for under 25. So if we get a bid for 25 or more, I'm probably going to let him go. He's 32. He's not doing it for me, man. Like, he's pulled up a couple of games. And he's been the main man, but it's all about Rooney. You know, as we play Everton here today and the teams are introduced, he's kind of, he is replaceable, Ronaldinho. Now, I know he's going to have a good game today for us, and he has been a bit of a star for us as Velias gets the first chance. Harty is caught out of position. He gets back on the line and he saves the blushes, but the Gea calls himself into action and just says, I'll sort this out. And from here, Sami Eto'o, who's been a great signing for us, lads. He's going to have a big say in these next couple of episodes. Nani, of course, as well, has been a revelation for us on that left flank. Beautiful ball in, and Ronaldinho gets a scruffy one in. So, Ronaldinho is scoring important goals at important times, but I did buy him. And I'm kind of the manager that, like, no player is bigger than the team. The only player that's untouchable at the moment for me is uh, Rooney. You know what I mean? He's the only player. Vidic is class as well. He's been mopping up everything for me. But the rest of the players, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say that they don't have a price because they do. Giggs is putting in a bit of a shift here as well. He absolutely butchers Baxter there out in the corner. Butcher Bay is open for business again today. But I'm just going to show the, the kind of the, the, the rough cut highlights of these lads and a couple of goals here and there. I find a lot with Pez 2013. There's a brilliant tackle that kind of saved all three points for us really or could have potentially. But Nanny gives it back. But the ref does call it and put us out of the misery. Arsenal or Manchester United go marching on. Now we've got the big match, right? So I, I did actually record this live and I had the I was doing the live cam and all that. But lads, the weather the last few days has been absolutely boiling. So, um, you know, I can't have the window open when I'm roaring and shouting and stuff. So um, I've just had to record this in post. But this was a cracking game as well. And this, to be honest, lads, this was a game that you're going to see as the 90 minutes progress, right? I was just saying it there with PES 2013. There's just, just very few chances in the games. 10 minutes, 5 minutes, you know, whatever the length of the match is. There's very few chances. I find if you get a chance and you take it, you'll get a second and a third chance. But sometimes if you don't, you might only get one chance per game. And if you don't take it, that's it. That's your chance gone. You're screwed. Like you'll see here, Sami Eto'o, he's got the pace. This is why we bought him. He gets a bit fortunate here. Torre can't keep up with him. And uh, Kola Torre gives us practically a goal for Eto'o to slide that in. But... We are getting a bit lucky, and obviously to get a start like that, we're away from home. We knew City were going to come at us full guns blazing or all guns blazing in the second half, but Sami Eto has been huge for us, lads. I think the biggest problem with Ronaldinho that I have, and some of you guys might agree or disagree or whatever as Vidic takes it in the nutsack, Ronaldinho's form is only a four, and I never kind of realised or I never like thought about the form when I was buying Ronaldinho, and he ha him being a four form... Like, he's always kind of down. He's never up in fully form. It's a brilliant ball from Scholes. Nearly, nearly it was a brilliant ball. And it tore in again. And if Rooney got that, it was 2-0 game over. But on the flip side, it spread out here to Aguero, who I would say, let's look at this for player ID. I would say Aguero is probably one of the best players I've come up against. Like, look at this for a finish. Absolute bullet. Just as I go in to commit the tackle, he just shoots. And I've said this time and time again, lads, throughout the series that we're doing. PES 2013, it's like playing against people online in eFootball 22. There's a kind of a risk-reward in the defending. There's a balance and there's a variety in the attacking and how you score and concede goals. 
Obviously, the finesse shots you saw in that game against Chelsea, Zeko cars me open, Hummels not really you know, impressing me so far. I know he will come good, maybe give him a new pair of boots for a bit of speed, but that was a huge gap that I left open defensively there. And from there, we were just kind of like put, pumping forward, seeing if we could get a goal, get back into it. We were playing a 4-3-3 today. Rooney gets half a chance, beautiful ball into Kagawa. We have to be finishing those. Look at that. I mean, there's no point. We've got seven shots on target. Bubba Buddy, the hands in the hair, ripping out the hair. He's going to be going grey by the end of the season if things still, you know, keep going this way. And Sammy Eto into the box. Again, there's a bit of luck that you need. Just doesn't pull off for us. And then Kolarov is on the attack again and the match is over. There's no minutes of injury time. And they're just going to see this one out. This is a massive blow for us because if we had won this game... Based on the other results and stuff, if we had won this game, I think it was going to be our league to lose. And I didn't think that we'd be in that position at the start of the season after five or six games because um, we were struggling so much. But this is a massive blow for our, you know, Premier League hopes. I think the Champions League is still where we need to kind of like focus at the moment. But yeah, it's just been tough. It's been really, really tough. Now, up next, we had our rivals, Norwich. Sorry, as I thought there was somebody at the door there knocking, but... They can, they, can, uh, they can wait if there is. But again, Hernandez gets in. Beautiful ball in. I was destined to beat Norwich, lads. And I get a bit of luck as we bring it into the first half there. Um, we were getting lots of chances, lots of lucky breaks, lots of little bits and pieces. Now, Holt, I think he was either injured or else he was afraid to play against Harty. That was the rumours in the papers that Harty was going to absolute butcher him compared to the last demolition that he gave us. But Rooney, beautiful ball in little spill it doesn't fall to us but we were just getting chance after chance after chance and I wanted to put Norwich away lads I wanted to punish Norwich we get a chance here in the second half right from the tip off kickoff glitch is alive and well in PES 2013 and Rooney does not miss those absolutely burst the net and out to the clothesline to finish and uh, out to the clothesline the, the line I should say the linesman to celebrate not the clothesline but Bennett gets in he gets a good chance here intercepted Rooney again 56 minutes on the clock Trying to get the ball back. Wes Houlihan, who's the architect for them. Beautiful ball in, but Fletch is back there. Rooney again, who are going to break it away. 80 minutes on the clock. Can we get the second goal to seal this out? Brilliant tackle. Nani Eto'o's running. Lovely ball over the top. Kind of mid-flight trajectory. Into Sammy Eto'o. Takes a touch. Boom. And Eto'o's been banging him in for us lads the last couple of games. He has been the main man with Rooney up front. What a difference he's made since he's come in. We've been marching up the leaderboard. Tottenham have a huge win there as well. So... Look, lads, if we had beaten City that last game, we would be up in second place on goal difference ahead of Tottenham and a point behind Arsenal. But it is a bit of a pity. Now, back to Ronaldo and back to our, our Ronaldinho and back to our transfers, right? I made a decision, lads. I made a big decision. I said to you guys, I wasn't going to take Inter's, but I was going to take Chelsea's. 28 million, one-year contract. His salary is getting a massive boost as well. I can't match that. I mean, I'm going to let him... I'm going to let him go. I'm going to let him go, lads. I know he's been an absolute marquee signing for the club. He's our first real big signing. But that form of one and the teamwork of 63 is just killing me. It's just absolutely killing me. And the fact that I can make a 10 million profit on him after he's given us a couple of assists and a couple of big goals is huge. Now, we do have plans for who we are going to sign. And we're going to go straight into that because we do sign... Somebody that you guys have been going on about in the comments. A few people have been asking me to sign De Bruyne and train him up. He's a very young player in this edition of Pez, Pez 2013. So that's nine years ago. So he's only a youngster, a starlet, but he's got incredible stats, lads. Really, really good, you know, decent stats. If I can stick a pair of boots on him and train him up really well if we start winning a few games. And we also sign Janino. So Janino is a guy that... Um, is like that I've kind of always signed in Pez games. So what we've kind of done is we've replaced Ronaldinho with Janino and De Bruyne and hoping that one of them will be up at least in good form every second match or whatever. Now we're going to play Janino most of all because he's kind of very similar to Ronaldinho um, stat-wise and obviously he doesn't have the pace of Ronaldinho but we will stick a pair of boots on him. And De Bruyne is starting today. Lovely ball back to Eto'o. Look at this for movement here. Like into Scholzi. Absolute thunderbolt from Scholzi. And that is one that Shales would be proud of. The OG master himself with an absolute bullet. No more walking it in. Just blasted on sight. And then in this game again, we're talking about Fulham, right? They get off to a really, really good start in the first half. A disaster for us. We're 1-0 down. 
and in the last minute we can't get a chance lads we are after failing again at the last hurdle and this is the problem I'm having all the time is I get a really good run of 3-4 matches and then I fluff my lines you know I've put, I, I just can't put, put it together but Sammy Eto'o does rescue an absolute vital point for us that could be huge in the title race so far but that's going to end our end our episode lads that is an absolute bullet of a goal now Arsenal do win City do win if I had lost that game I would have probably ruled myself out of the Premier League and just focused on the Champions League as you can see there we have drawn Real Madrid the superstars the Galacticos it's going to be all hell breaking loose against those Ronaldo, Kaka, Ozil, Higuain it's going to be madness but we'll be back with that episode I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, i hope you guys are enjoying the weather as well it's been absolutely roasting here the last few days so yeah enjoy yourselves lads have a good weekend i'll be talking to you later peace